The snow is so bad out west right now. I came back to Ontario to go to work. Not exactly. We got some cool stuff showing up here today that I'm pretty stoked for. Uh, let's go check it out. The seconds race, so turn it up, let the earth quake. Cause I'm never gonna give up. Staring down the finish line, I can see the lights breathe fire. I'm gonna make it to the other side. Cause I'm always gonna. Okay, I haven't been in the excavator here in. Uh few months so I'm gonna be a little rusty but we're just gonna walk this over to the job site and then we'll figure out how this shit works because I have no idea now nah, this is gonna be a big learning curve oh I opened the back one how did I open the back one <laughs> there's so many buttons you forget what's what <laughs> feel like we should put a bucket on you know I guess I should kind of tell you guys what this is uh, on an excavator, if, if you're not familiar with excavators, you just typically get a standard bucket on an excavator. This makes it so the bucket can tilt and rotate, and uh, you just have a lot more versatility with the machine and just work more efficient and do nicer work. Well, that's the sales pitch anyway. Apparently across the pond in like Sweden, every excavator has one of these. I constantly get people from uh, Sweden or just wherever over there, uh, messaging me saying how weird it is that we, we don't run tail rotators. Those buckets are pretty cool. Holy right? shit. This is f***ed up. Oh, wrong way. Oh. You know how hard it is to to bring the bucket around and not drop all your dirt? Yeah. Wow, this is a big learning curve. Oh dude, yeah. it's crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh... <laughs> oh here we go. Oh nope. Okay, now back the other way. Dude, that just seems so wrong with the bucket the other way. I feel like my hand like this right now. Oh, oh no, okay, now I gotta curl this way. Man, that, that is freaking weird. I, I've never felt so useless on a machine before. I think the learning curve for this is pretty steep, like 100 hours, but uh, I'm excited to get to learn this thing. Okay, so we're not really doing any actual work here. We're just kind of trying to learn the ways of the EngCon tilt rotator here. I feel like if I had a solid day on this, I could definitely kind of get the hang of it. I know you guys can't see anything right now because of freaking sun. So on each joystick here on the top one here, that rotates the bucket. The top roller on this side tilts the bucket. We got our quick connect over here, which uh, we're able to disconnect the bucket and the tilt rotator without disconnecting or connecting any hoses, which is like the best freaking thing ever. But well, let's see if we can take the whole rotator off. Then we can run an excavator like an excavator. We got the tilt rotator off. Stand behind, beside that thing. Look how big it is. <laughs> Damn. But now we can put just the bucket on and we don't have to tilt rotate. But you got this just exposed. It seems wrong. I don't know if there's a cover for that. Nobody's trained us to use this thing, but the dealer support here isn't very, very good. All right, here we go. We got some parts to cover parts. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, so that slides over that. What's the strap for? Oh, just so you can pull it off, I guess? How did you unhook both of them? They both unhook. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so then if you're doing moving blasted rock like over there, you don't have to use that thing and wear it out. Thank you. 
so it goes up over there. We're going out for dinner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> poor girl. Are you fun. tired of my uh, shenanigans? Well, Are you ready to go? It's hungry. You only gave her two pieces of bacon this morning. Are you going to play with that thing? Not tonight. No? Maybe Cut. tomorrow. You kind of got the hang of it pretty quick. Oh, I don't have an excavator key on here. Oh man. Well, I got con in to going to work today. I wanted to just, you know, go play with the excavator for a couple hours, but turns out I'm going to be slinging blasting mats. Uh, show up here and, and realize I don't have the right keys with me. I forgot my excavator key, but I think there'll be a dump truck here uh, shortly with, with an excavator key I can steal. So, <laughs> dumbass. Try this again. So today the plan is uh, we gotta load up these blasting mats, take them over to another job site, and maybe dig some rock out of there and then do some blasting. We're not actually gonna put an attachment on right away because we're gonna use the claw on the back of this if I can figure out how. Uh, oh, right, yeah, oh yeah, there we go. I don't know if this is gonna work as well as I thought. Okay, we got a mat here. I don't know if I'll really get enough lift like this. If I get both, oh yeah. Well, you're kind of far away from me there, Andrew. Well, that's why I figured you're only going next door. May as well just do two. Boss man hasn't even seen the machine yet. Those are those blue plugs. What are they? It's just auxiliary. If you need it. Well, you're doing rock though. I guess you gotta be fucking careful, eh? I try not to spill shit over the bucket anytime. Hard to believe it's worth that much money. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's really not that that complicated. We got Jerry learning in the roto tilt. <laughs> you know, it's, it's definitely not that exciting watching somebody learn to run this because it just looks painful <laughs> but someone actually gets good on this kind of setup then it's like super satisfying to watch them work and you know see how efficient and smooth and just the nice work you can do with it if we look closely we can see jerry already getting a little frustrated with this setup you know when you've ran excavator for uh 40 years one way and then you get some fancy tech like this. I think he's just testing the strength of the claw because that's definitely uh, not a practical use for it. And if uh, if you guys are wondering what we're doing here, we're blasting out for septic tanks. Uh, there's blasting up at this house, at this house, and giant septic field up there. These tanks are, they're pretty big. So this hole is about 20 by 20 to fit the, the tanks in. We're gonna dig all the rock out of here, just pile it up on site since we only got one truck today. And then, uh, then drill and blast. I took the tilt rotator right off because, uh, why be harder on it than I need to be? I don't need, I don't need it on for just digging out blasted rock. It's funny, this is uh, quite the change of pace from what you guys are used to, snowmobiling videos to construction. J 
Jerry coming in here. He'll start bailing this out while I'm cleaning it out. here today working with the old man uh, it's his company I work for him I don't have a, a cent invested I just you know pay by the hour that's how I'm able to take off for the winter too though uh, I don't want that much responsibility right now but it's cool to be actually out here working with him today because we never work together I'm usually on a job site and he's doing you know managing stuff You know, I, I didn't tell you you could leave yet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Slacking on the Friday, going home at yeah. noon? I go and see Ryan. Oh. Uh, bridge for his boathouse. A bridge for yeah. a boathouse, okay. Yeah. Uh, you like being back to work? Yeah, I like working. <laughs> I know you do. I like, what I don't like is doing nothing. What do you think of the tilt rotator so far? I don't see it being uh, $140,000 worth of value. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, I can see the uh, a function of c certain things, the demolition and brush, armor, stone walls, but a lot might, of moving parts, a lot of money. Might take a while to pay for itself. Yeah, I'd say yes. I don't know if you put a ditching bucket on. What the ditching bucket cost for the two forty five? About thirty grand. Thirty grand. Yeah. Let's so say you got a ditching bucket and a clamshell, you'd be like seventy grand. Only twice as much money. Yeah. For well, twice the functionality. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be good enough to run it. Well, wow. you don't spend enough time in a machine. Especially, it would take yeah. me a week to get onto it for sure. You know, you're only in a machine once a month. Yeah, when I buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as exciting as buying a new snowmobile. Yeah, a new snowmobile is more exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is this is a close second. All right, I'll I'll uh, I'll finish up here. You go enjoy your okay. day off. Yeah. The oh, perfect. Maybe I'll take a little tour of this place here. It's looks pretty neat. These doors are freaking massive. Look how big this slider is. You can't even get perspective of how big that is. It's like 20 feet to the other side. Whoa. Need, need a couple tubs. You know, sometimes you think you're doing all right financially, and then you go somewhere like this. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm poor as hell. <laughs> this slider here probably costs as much as one of my snowmobiles. Gotta take this little corner of rock out of there. these mats out of here quick and then uh, we are out of here.
This rock is nicely, nicely pulverized. Turned to muck, as they call it. And uh, super easy to dig out with this bucket. Maybe a little bit too much water in the truck, but uh, anyway. Bible versus greater than my verses that I fight against. Faith can move a mountain, still my flesh is what I'm fighting with. I fight against the slightest chips on shoulders I can fight it with. No, they won't a hell, but I see more windows than a pilot trip. My God has been my Something I kind of noticed with the tilt rotator running it is, you know, I just dug out a little bit of blast of rock, but sure, you know, it's not really what I want to use this for, but I found I could actually be like more gentle with the machine because I could dig at the angles I wanted to dig at, opposed to just like brute force and ignorance. Feel like I'm getting onto this pretty quick, honestly. I'm not thinking about what does what, I'm just, it's just kind of coming naturally. Sometimes it's not that natural, but I feel like we're getting somewhere. We are done. Let's get out of here, three o'clock. Got snowmobiling to do. Okay, final thoughts for the day now that I've had like an hour to run the tilt rotator here. Super slick, I could definitely see why everyone says it's so advantageous. Uh, you know, not gonna use it for everything, but I'm stoked to get some more hours on it. And hopefully I'm the one that gets to primarily run this. I mean, it, it's hard since I'm not here in the winter time, so most likely Scott's gonna be running this, but maybe we'll have to get another one, convince the old man to spend some more dough. We'll see what happens.